Good morning. This morning we're coming to you from Prizren, Kosovo. It is our first new country of 2022. Very exciting. All right, so as you can see behind me, Prizren is quite the old city. Uh, it was under Ottoman rule for centuries um, until it was liberated by the Albanians in the Balkan Wars and then captured by the Serbians where it was under the Serbian control until the 90s, early 2000s, where there was a lot of turmoil. I'm sure you've all heard of that very recent history um but today kosovo is a uh, an independent country uh snuggled right in between um albania and serbia and uh i'm really excited to be here because i am a big fan of history but the something about the yugoslav wars and being that they're so recent um has always piqued my interest So today we are going to take you around the city, talk a little bit about the history, and then um, if all goes well, make it to uh, the top of this little mountain here. So the stone bridge behind me that we're about to walk across would have been built in the 15th century. That's a really long time ago. And when we built it, it was kind of essential for trade across this region. I don't know if you can tell, you can kind of tell. This region is incredibly mountainous, so almost all of these settlements in northern Albania, Kosovo, southern Serbia are built along these riverbanks uh, because you can't really build a town up on the mountains. You see it kind of kind of ends up there. So these river crossings were incredibly important for trade at the time. Uh, and that would make this one what? Like five, six, six hundred years old. So now let's walk up to the bottom of the stone bridge so that you can see it a bit more up close. It's pretty cool, right? 600 plus years old, this bridge. Look at that, that incredible view of the mountains over there. Kind of tell like the stones on the bridge are so shiny they so, are so slippery they're so slippery so to slippery. walk on yeah i can imagine uh, tomorrow it's supposed to rain here so it'll be interesting to see how walking across this is in the rain So it's really interesting because this is the first city we've ever been to um, where not everything you pass is a bar. Uh, some of these places, when they say, you know, cafe, they're literally just talking about coffee and tea. Um, Prizren is a 95% Muslim city. Uh, so we went to a restaurant last night, didn't serve alcohol at yeah, all. Yeah, we asked for two glasses of wine and he apologized and said that they just don't serve alcohol. Yeah. and. Um, interesting because like usually when you're walking by you see people out drinking you know even in the morning in a lot of these cities but some of these coffee shops you look into there's no alcohol at all it's straight up coffee and a lot of tea and a lot tea of really tea is really popular and um we have read that the hookah. city is uh, oh lots of hookah lots too. of hookah we read that the city is very secular although they're practicing it's a little bit more laid back so there are tons of bars and restaurants with alcohol but we've never noticed it um, in this type of way before. Yeah, we've never been to a place where not every bar where and not restaurant every bar has and alcohol. alcohol.
Hi. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's start the truck up there. Short but steep. Short but steep. Great but steep. Uh, that way. I can only assume that that says castle. <laughs> yes. Like we said, this is a short walk, but quite steep. We are very quickly high above the city of Prizren. Very quickly. Wow, it's steep. We're almost there. Not much further. Something just breathtaking about those mountains there. Oh, and really interesting. So if you see where those two mountains kind of intersect, that's the road that we took in to Kosovo. Yeah, so, so right up over that first mountain and in between the second one, the road curves and that's where the border is. Uh, so if you're ever driving into Kosovo, uh, that's the way you'll probably take. And then from that border control, which again would have been right there, into the center of the city, was about 20 minutes. Oh, so it is incredible. Whole city below us. We're so high up so quickly. That's such a steep climb. But man, just the scale of all of these mountains surrounding us and being able to see the entire city from one viewpoint, how cool is that? It's so cool. Like, I feel like I'm looking down on all these places that I didn't see when I was on the ground, but now that I'm high above, I can look down and see everything. And I feel like I officially have like a new list of like five or 10 different places that I want to go see when we're back down on the ground. Yeah, there's definitely a lot that this city has to offer and right? it expands like, way further than I thought. Yeah. What is that street? I've never seen that. Way further than we thought. So oh, that cute little circle down there. I want to go sit in it. Circle. Oh, oh yeah, look, look at that. It's a nice little courtyard. Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, much to see here, clearly. spot yeah. wow the views just keep getting better what on earth do you think that is what that yeah. oh who knows <laughs> a little by a little yeah, as with any steep hike, going down is quite challenging too. Yeah. Because you, you feel like it's so steep, you feel like you could just tumble. Your ankles are just. You could tumble all the way back down into the center immediately. And I'd rather look like a fool and stay safe and like enjoy the rest of my trip than try and like walk normal. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've sat down for lunch at a Kosovo grill, uh, which is kind of cool. 
because it's like a mix of Albanian, Albanian and, and Serbian food. Um, we saw things like, um, what do they call it? Kofte. Kofte, but what do they call it in Serbian? Uh, Serbian. No. Uh, for sure don't have that. Um, Shavapi. They had shavapi. And we've actually seen a couple of shavapi grills around here. So it's kind of cool. You see like the blending of like Slavic culture and, and Albanian culture in these places. Um, and another thing that I can't really pan over to now, but I'll try to, the military's here eating with us. All right, so we're starting off here with some salads. I'm uh, obsessed Kira. with mac and cheese. And yeah. This is like a cold version of mac and cheese. I don't totally know what's in it yet, but I'm extremely happy with it. Also, it's covered in a mountain of cheese. Yeah, I like that. And I got basically, it's like, um, cabbage and vinegar and it sounds gross but it's actually delicious one of us is healthier than the other <laughs> so our main food has arrived here look you can see the army behind us uh, <laughs> our main food has arrived here look at this all this food we got the waiter literally told us about ordering at one point he was like that's enough food. yeah he basically cut us off from food but <laughs> all this food we got is delicious um, we got Ivar, which is this orange stuff. Green cabbage, uh, red cabbage. Green cabbage, red cabbage, carrots. Kosovo sausage, which is amazing. Kofis, and this is coffee. It's like a meatball. More Ivar, great. Some bread. Two um, seltzers, soda waters, whatever you call it. All for nine euros and 30 cents. Oh, damn. Damn. I knew it was going to be cheap, I just didn't think that was cheap. It's pretty cheap. All right, so we're in this um, like market here in Kosovo. I need to grab some toothbrushes because we forgot to bring some. And uh, you can see here everything on the shelves. Hold on, flip around. They have flags. Everything on the shelves has the flag of the country that it came from. So these are from Slovenia, Germany, China down here, the UK. It's pretty cool. So my phone died. <laughs> um, but we are back at the hotel now. We're staying at the Hotel Prizreni, which is an incredibly nice small uh, hotel. But we are pooped from our day of exploring. So we're going to go down to the hotel bar, work a little bit, relax, uh, and then find something to eat. But I think we're going to sign out of this video for today. Yeah, so we are all cleaned up. We are relaxed. We're hungry. We're going to eat. We don't really know uh where we're going tomorrow what we're doing we just know that we're checking out of here um but if you want to find out with us just hit that subscribe button and maybe there'll be a video all right yeah this not for not small okay be very careful of her hands please that's one oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. How did that feel? So cool. Where's your, where's your <laughs> weapon? <laughs> oh my god, the scent of that. Uh, wow. This is, wow. This is going to be the best meal of the year. I'm so excited. <laughs>